lagging because everyone else made a video. I gotta make a video now. Oh man, look at me. I don't know what I'm doing. I just would, you, would you stop? What? Please. Just okay. come on. I'm, I'm actually letting you stay in here for the video. Oh, You're sitting you? there with a bunch of cards in front of you. are not even using the cards. Just, just stop. Okay, alright, fine. Hey guys, I'm about a month late, but today we're gonna be talking about Cardistry Con 2015. Here we are, day one, New York. We're in New York. This is look, this is New York. I got stopped at TSA because when the bag went through the little X-ray scanner deal, the guy noticed that. I had a lot of small rectangular packages in my bag. So I had I got stopped and they're like, we're, so we're gonna have to check out your bag. All these decks, and they're like, what are these for? And I said, um, I'm a magician. Yeah, so I'm excited. We're gonna go over and we're gonna jam uh, and have some fun. I cannot wait to uh, hang out with other people that like to flip cards around. So here we go. This was the day, this was it, I'm gonna meet. I'm gonna meet people. We walk, we walk up, and I remember from the Google Street View Maps thing what everything looked like, and I just my my adrenaline was pumping. First person I see is Matt Fox, and I recognize him from a mile away because no other person is short and plays with cards. The con got underway, and we were all just so excited to to just start hanging out with people. So between sessions, we all just hung out and and like filmed each other jamming, so here's some footage of that. to a restaurant called Table 87, which is probably the number one restaurant for Cardistry Con, because that was the only thing in the area. It's this really nice, authentic New York pizza pizza joint that serves like really thin, authentic Italian crust pizza. Uh, we did some magic to the waiters, and they, they all really enjoyed it, and we, we told them what Cardistry was, and they're all really excited, and they said they'd actually seen other Cardists there um, that day, so that was pretty much the restaurant to go to um, if you went to Cardistry Con. <laughs> After that, Sam Wheeler and I went to Whole Foods, which was just down the street, and we ended up filming a really cool collab video there. It's called All Natural, and it'll be up sometime in the next week. <laughs> Yo, we're going to Whole Foods right now because um, we just ate some pizza, and <laughs> we just want to jam because we got to be out of the Goanna's loft by 7, which is sad because like that's where all our friends are. Whole Foods rolling in heavy. Here we go. <laughs> oh, we're going to the roof, okay. That's where we're going. Oh. Yeah. I remember not being able to sleep again that night because day two was uh, just around the corner. Day two just woke up. Um, missed hotel breakfast because it goes from six to nine which is kind of dumb because nine's still pretty early. I had a great time last night filming with Sam eating pizza, um, you know it was a good it was a good first day. So that's what uh, that's what the deal is, and uh, I'm excited. So let's get on with day two. Day two, dude, it's like day one, but day. It's the it's the second day of car it's the second day of car con, and just when I thought it couldn't get any better, it got better. Okay, so it started off with a talk uh, from Zach Mueller and a few other people regarding the padiddle, which many of you may know is the continuous pirouette move. And uh, last year at the Beta Cards Recon, they did a padiddle contest. So they did that this year and... Um... All right, padiddle contest. Three, two, one. Give him a round of applause. 
we all just we basically just did a pirouette uh, because all the people that went up there, including myself included, were just so nervous because just ha having all the headliners around, all the people that you know are just professional cardistry master virtuosos. It was just so nerve wracking to have them around and like watching us. We got out of the conference for uh, a lunch break and uh, I'm hanging out with the one and only Sam Wheeler, Anna down there. Uh, I'm currently risking my life. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm, this, is, this is probably a bad idea. Yeah, no, no, we're just hanging. We're having a good time. Uh, we explored around for lunch, so we tried to find somewhere else, but we ended up just going to Table 87 again. Uh, but what's really cool about CardistryCon is that Vanity Fair and Wired Magazine were both covering the event, as well as Discovery Asia. But Wired and, and uh, Vanity Fair were going around interviewing people, and you can read their stories in the description below. They wrote some really cool write-ups um, on Cardistry, and I think it gave Cardistry a really big leap forward in terms of exposure. So that's pretty cool. It was sick. It was awesome. It was freaking, freaking crazy soup. Just a sequence. Okay, here we go. What's up? So we just got done with. Wow, that's bright. Okay, so we're. Uh, what's up? We just finished up day two. We're actually following. We're following all the headliners. What ended up happening is, all the headliners decided to go to Times Square as well. Uh, we try to find some food in Manhattan. We ate at TGI Fridays, and uh, had some great food, and ended up jamming in Times Square. So here is a quick exclusive, never-before-seen collab between Sam, myself, and Anna in Times Square. Day three, the final day. Um, just got my stuff packed up for leaving the hotel because we might have people coming and clean. Yeah, man, the last day. Jeez, it's gonna be hard. It's so hard to like take in every moment because you're always like walking around and everything, and there's so much to focus on. But you know, today's the last day that we're gonna be able to do this because um, I leave tomorrow. So I'm excited. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm really excited. And uh, we're gonna have a great time. So, here's to day three. <laughs> Sorry, just think, just thinking about the last day of 
of the best 3D experience anyone could ever ask for. Just really late. I'm not actually crying. It was sad though. It was horrible. It was. I could not. I could not bear it. I wasn't even a bear. I could not become a bear to bear it. It was just. It was so. What the heck? Guess where we got lunch? We're just gonna go to table 87. Is where we're going. Um. I feel so lonely without my camera. What is it? Is it the last day? It so is the last day. Oh, man. I'm so sad. I guess this kid's leaving early. Yeah. I'm He's busy. leaving early. I'm a busy shot. <laughs> Table 87. Um, and we ended up running into a few other guys uh, from the con. Kevin Yu was there uh, with a few, a few of his friends, and we shared some magic ideas, actually. That's what was cool about Cardistry Con, is that um, magic was, was present. Even though it wasn't Magic Con, there were still magicians that went um, because cardistry is really it's a really open art form um, and there's there's bridges between cardistry and magic obviously um, a lot of people start as magicians and transfer to cardistry um, or people keep a balance between cardistry and magic like myself it was yeah every, I think everyone had the same kind of consensus like oh man this is the last day like I am so like upset I don't want to go home um, what was really cool was Andre Jick, Blake Floyd, and Dan White all showed up to the con uh, on the last day. And uh, they were just walking around, super nice guys, just sharing ideas. And uh, it was really cool to be able to like shake their hand and be like, hey, what's up? You're, you're really, <laughs> you're cool. Um, I didn't say that, obviously. Well, I did. I don't like to admit it, though, because that's, that's about as awkward as giving an alligator a hug in a phone booth. So it felt too short. And we were all just really sad to say goodbye to each other. Um, it was an experience like I've never had before. Uh, just being able to meet up with people that, again, like I'm, I want to hammer this home because like, and meet up with people that you've only met on a computer screen, that you only know because of their moves. Um, and to see them in real life, it's a really weird experience because you're not like, oh, my name's Sean, uh, I don't know anything about you. It's It's like, you already know everything about them because you've you know, you've been talking to them like it's just so it was so cool and uh, I, I think more experiences like that need to be had so yeah last it, in in uh, summary yep, sorry in conclusion the last day of Cardistry Con was just devastating but uh, new connections were made and we all still stay in contact so that was the last day the pizza wasn't I mean that was a that was a very minor part. It wasn't that minor. It was a pretty, it was a good staple in uh, Cardistry Con, but had a lot of fun, and I can't wait to do it again. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter uh, at NotShano, and um, I'll see you next time. Don't forget about that video, all natural, coming out next week. We see you there. Ha, ha, ha.